weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Carson Meredith and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, here in North Alabama today, we dodged the bullet as far as severe thunderstorms were concerned, but just because storms aren't severe doesn't mean they can't be dangerous. David Lee sent us this photo earlier tonight. This is from the Pride Estates community. That's west of Tuscumbia and Clover County. What happened is a lightning struck this tree and debarked the tree, basically. That's why we always say whenever you hear thunder, head inside. Even if a storm is not severe, it can still cause some pretty significant damage. Thanks to David for sending in that photo tonight. And if you have any photos of damage or sunrises, sunsets, any weather in the future, send it our way. Share at WeTV.com. We see every single photo that you send to us from that email address, and your photo might end up on the air sometime down the road. A quiet picture tonight across the Way 31 Skycam Network. We had those showers and thunderstorms this afternoon, this evening. They have since tapered off now that the sun has gone down. Look at those temperatures, though. Still very mild out there. 74 in Huntsville, still 77 in the Shoals, 74 in Gunnersville and 73 degrees right now in Decatur. Clean sweep across the way. 31 storm tracker early warning radar network. We will stay dry for the next few hours and then we're watching that cluster of thunderstorms off to our north that might make its way towards North Alabama later on tonight. Now tomorrow afternoon more of those pop up showers and thunderstorms are back in the forecast and that coverage is a bit more widespread tomorrow than what we saw today. It's a 60% chance tomorrow. So if you're heading out to the trash pandas homestand finale tomorrow night, first pitch at 635. Of course, you're you're going to watch the game at home. You can watch it on this TV channel 31.6. Storms are looking pretty likely around first pitch time at 635 tomorrow night. That coverage should taper off just a bit past sunset, but I think those thunderstorms will hold tough as the sun goes down tomorrow night. So we'll keep that chance for a few scattered storms in the forecast for the seventh inning. Those temperatures still very mild in the mid 70s tomorrow night. We mentioned that isolated risk to see a few strong or perhaps severe thunderstorms mainly during the afternoon hours tomorrow. We're not expecting widespread severe weather, but some of those thunderstorms could produce heavy rain and lightning. Both of those are in the medium risk category. And a few of those storms may produce wind gusts of 50 to maybe 60 miles per hour. Again, that risk is fairly low, but it is there. So stay weather aware for any of your outdoor plans tomorrow. Download our Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app to get live radar watches and warnings should they be issued throughout the day tomorrow. So we mentioned that cluster of thunderstorms off to our north across Kentucky and Missouri right now. Look at future radar. This is 1:30 Sunday morning. What's left of that cluster of thunderstorms making its way southward towards northwestern Tennessee. It may make its way towards North Alabama later on tonight. Notice we'll have those widespread thunderstorms in the forecast as early as 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then we'll see those storms continue to bubble up throughout the entire day, going through lunchtime tomorrow, even into the dinner hours as well. Some storms still lingering past sunset tomorrow night. And we'll do it all over again as we head towards your Monday with more thunderstorms in the forecast as well. Rainfall totals, this goes for the next seven days, an additional two to three inches of rain on top of all the rain we've seen so far this week, so we'll have to keep a very close eye on the flash flooding concerns, especially by the second half of next week. 87 is your forecast high tomorrow, down only into the low to mid 80s on Monday, and we start to dry out just a bit, but we're back to near 90 though by the middle of next week.